No. I made my top five favorite scenes from hood movies, but I only did two because I didn't know if y'all would like it for real. I've been wanting to do the other three, but that first video got demonetized. But then I thought to myself, you know what I'm saying? If the people want it and I don't give it to them, then I'm a kid and I'm not no kid. And honestly, even though I could use the bread, I ain't start YouTube for money. So I'm gonna make this video even though I run the risk of getting demonetized on this one too. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome to my top five favorite scenes from hood movies. Now, 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 I know for this one, it's not a movie, but I don't care. It's no way I couldn't talk about it. This scene really changed the way I look at things. It really opened my eyes as a kid how dangerous you can be. Matter of fact, let me stop chatting for a second to show you. You want them to. <laughs> Now, for those of y'all who never watched The Wire, I very highly suggest you should watch it. Honestly, in my opinion, it's the best show of all time. I'm not even jazzing it. But in this TV show, Omar was a person that everybody feared. Matter of fact, let me not say everybody. The people who was feared, feared him. The drug dealers and gangbangers, he would come through and rob them while whistling. To pretty much alert them that he's there, but he will still be able to rob them. So in this TV show, he felt untouchable. Like as a viewer, it felt like he was Superman. So for him to be smoked by a 11 year old kid really opens eyes. Cause Omar would not let that happen if it was anybody else. He let his guard down because a kid seems harmless. But even nowadays in the hood, kids be 10, 11, 12 tone guns, robbing people. People. But as a man, you don't expect kids to be dangerous. So he pretty much put his guard down because of natural instinct. And that shows kids are just as, if not more dangerous than men in the hood. Not even to take it into a fact that kids don't even understand consequences for real. So a kid could smoke you and not even think about what comes next. It can already did get arrested and locked up after the scene. Now I know I'm putting Menace to Society in this list twice, but it is my favorite movie after all. Kane's death scene was really insane to me because Kane was literally trying to lead the hood. But the crazy thing is he was messing with his OG's baby mother. I'm not gonna lie, that sounded like it should be breaking some type of code. But yeah, he was trying to lead a hood. But something he did really caught back up to him. And that's really a fact of life, bro. You could really do something, forget about it, but it has a bigger impact on somebody else. And they're really just holding that grudge in their mind. And it's so heavy, they're like, nah, nah, I gotta do this. Like, I'm not gonna be a head ass and say I have ops. Cause I don't, bro. I be chilling now. But I really, really be scared that something from my past is gonna come back to bite me. Cause it literally happens all the time to people. Or somebody who just doesn't like you and don't like to see you doing good and when i say it happens it happens bro look at these rappers out here like low key bro if you're making it as a rapper your neighborhood might love you but you really gotta dip out because you never know who's really hating on your success all right, all right i'm yapping let me get back to the point but kane is really trying to better himself and because of something he did earlier that week i'm not gonna lie now that i think about it kane is low key a kid he hit a joint she said she was pregnant he said that joint is not mine i'm pregnant well, what the you telling me for and then her cousin came and confronted him about it. Hey, which one of y'all is Kane? Which in hindsight is wild. Because I'm not gonna lie, that's how these females begin a lot of their brothers and cousins smoke. Trying to send somebody out there a dude they mess with. Like that don't make sense. If you a girl and you listen to this, please do not do that dumb shit. Cause nine times out of 10, you still gonna mess with the dude. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? She sent her cousin after him and Kane just started beating the brakes off. Like when I say he was beating them, he was beating them. And every time I think about this scene, I think about don't be a menace to self censor while drinking your juice in the hood. Like I know Menace to Society was one of the movies this was period in, but this scene is so funny. I'm not gonna lie, I be geeking every time I watch this. In this movie, they showed him flattening in Layton's cousin. And this was a very, very accurate representation of what Kane did to him. But like I was saying, Kane was doing all this without thinking about the consequences. Like I'm not gonna lie, he was moving pretty loose. He probably did that or forgot about it or shrugged it off. But Elena's cousin wasn't going for that. But in my opinion, it's pretty dumb to go in somebody else's hood by yourself. He must not have watched my videos. Matter of fact, let me hit you with a hood tip. If you're gonna go into the hood or somebody else's hood, try not to come by yourself. Cause I guarantee you people are less likely to try you if you're walking with a group of people. Not to say you're being on BS, but people aren't dumb. They know their chances of coming out on top is less the more people there are. So with all that being said, the lesson here is a lot of the times when you try to move out the hood and better yourself, there'll be things from your past that will bring you down. Cause in the whole movie, Ken was really struggling. I want to say with like being a good person. Like you seen with Old Dog, Old Dog had no struggle. Old Dog was always like that from what we seen. Cause Old Dog had the type of violence that just had to be in you. Bro, he killed a crackhead for asking him to give him top. Fuck your Come on, man, just hook me up. What the f you on. just say, nigga? Yeah, I understand that was a raw request, but a fiend is a fiend. They gonna do anything to get some drugs. Man, I said I suck your. Come on, man, let's get the fuck. 
But do you see the vast majorities between Old Dog and Kane? Old Dog loved the hood, wanted to stay in the hood, loved violence, wanted to keep doing violence. Kane really only smoked somebody when he had to, like, for, for get back for his cousin. And at the end of the day, Kane gave up his life for a child that wasn't even his. So to the end, he, it showed he had a good heart. But damn, I've been yapping too much because I love this movie. Now up next, we got the scene from Paid in Full. Now in this scene, Money Making Mitch in this movie, who was the man selling hella drugs, getting money. He was real ass shining. But as everybody knows, that doesn't last forever this scene showed me it's okay for a man to cry like he was crying but at the same time he's still a real it's almost like he's scared of what he's gonna do to other people like when you have money you have a lot of things to worry about especially in the hood there's so many people jealous of you or that want a piece it will almost make you go insane like i'm gonna do a spoiler because if you haven't watched this movie you're tripping his own uncle kidnapped his little brother for ransom and sent him a finger is that not crazy all because he wanted some money it's almost like you can see the anger in his tears and i'm not gonna lie this scene was acted very well i'm surprised this actor didn't get a grammy for this it's almost like you can feel what he's feeling he's pretty much saying no more mr nice guy he said he about to be on some real murder shit. anybody even look at him wrong they gone. His little brother was like his whole world. When you're surrounded by people who only want something from you, someone like that you're gonna hold very dear to your heart. Owes me money or ever said any jealous bullshit about me is dead. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. Crying on a man like that, that's tough as hell. But this man was really, really, really going through it. And he talking to his good man showing nothing but emotion. Just laying it all out there. He not going for none of that no more. He don't, he don't care what he got going on. Because people really be jealous and be trying to mask it. Like, yeah, yeah, you doing good, bro. I see that. They, they, that means they want what you got. So he's saying anybody try to be slick, try and try to be sly, he not going for none of that no more, bro. It's over. It's done for. Because all of that led to this moment. Matter of fact, let me show you a clip of what his uncle said to him before. Bullsh. I see you shining. I can smell a motherfucker with money. Like that's that's pure jealousy, bro. From his own uncle, his own uncle, a grown man, OC grown man, couldn't get money, and now he really leaning on his nephew, trying to fake tease him. You know what I'm saying? Saying, yeah, I know you got it. All right. Damn, you made it to that end again. I'm not gonna lie, I was about to give up on this halfway through. My drum was acting too slow. I had to add too many clips, audio, video, all that. But I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I might as well stick it out for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know this not everybody a cup of tea, but a lot of y'all were asking for the rest of my, you know what I'm saying, top five. So I was like, I might as well give it to you. But I think I'm gonna get my PC very soon, like in the next couple of months. And when I do, bro, I'm gonna go stupid. Cause y'all see what I did with what I had to work with, bro. Imagine I upgrade my equipment. I'm gonna go crazy. But you know what I'm saying? I was thinking about getting merch made. I'm still like in like the very early stages of that though. So you don't gotta worry about that right now. I'm just worrying about getting the best content out to y'all as possible. So with all that being said, the code word is get back. Oh yeah, and if y'all wanna see any more of these types of videos, let me know, cause I wasn't planning on making any more, but if y'all like it enough, I will. Cause you know what I'm saying? I'm making videos for y'all. So with all that being said, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Old dog, out!